Hello and welcome to InnerMoney.com's YouTube channel. My name is Fayaz. Where should you invest in your 20s to ensure that your future is much more secure and much more stable? So this video will discuss in detail about all these aspects. And unfortunately, I'll not be talking about some investment options, but I'm talking about something much more serious, something much more significant and something much, much, much more important. So without a further ado, let's get to the point. The number one place or the number one thing in which you should definitely be investing is invest in books. The right kind of books can change your personality, can change your perspective, can change your mentality and can you know, change your life in every possible angle. I mean, there are so many people who say that leaders are readers. So if you want to see yourself becoming a leader one day, you should be the person who has the knowledge of at least of not everything, but at least something. It's better to be a jack of all rather than being the master of none. So it's much, much better that you read a lot more things because reading improves your vocabulary, it improves your perspective, it improves your vision. It also uh, makes you a much more interesting person. If you have multiple top topics to talk about, whenever you're going out to meet a new person, it can be meeting on a, like, a, like an interview, meeting for a meeting or meeting uh, with a client or maybe on a date. Wherever you go, you will be a much more significant person because you have multiple things to talk about and which will make your overall personality look very, very attractive. And you'll be able to gather and attract more opportunities towards yourself which will ultimately help you to increase your income as well. The next thing that you should invest is that you need to invest in the right kind of courses. There are so many new online courses that have come up. There are so many new applications, so many new uh, websites that have come up which are offering you some of the most amazing courses. I came across this course recently that, the, the, that you can learn about stand-up comedy by spending just 500 rupees. But we, when we see such stuff, we feel that, you know what, 500 is way too much. I can learn about it myself. There are so many free videos on YouTube. I can just, might as well watch that and I will learn about comedy. But if you really want to become a comedian, if you really want to become successful in something, you need to invest invest your money in that. Gone are those days when we used to invest our money in like traditional sources of education like a college degree or a school education certificate. These are the modern ways of getting yourself educated and the more you learn about such stuff, the more you invest in such stuff, the more you'll be able to uh, utilize those skills on your personal day-to-day -day life which will help you to become a better version of yourself and ultimately improve your income and money matters as well. The third thing that you have to invest is that you need to invest in healthy food. I know so many people who go to work out are already aware about the fact that it's very very important to have the right kind of diet because the right kind of diets help you to lift more weight, it helps you to improve your stamina, it improve, help you, helps you to improve your core strength as well. But the problem is healthy food sometimes is little expensive. I mean it's a little expensive to buy our avocado but rather than buying any kind of uh, junk food but if you eat the right kind of healthy food you'll be able to become a healthier version of yourself and that's why it's extremely important that you eat healthy because today if you eat healthy you'll be able to maintain a healthy lifestyle but eventually in future also since you're maintaining a healthy lifestyle right from your beginning you'll be able to uh, be a person who has less illness less medical expenses and ultimately you'll be able to save a lot of money in your medical expenses in the near future as well the fourth thing that you have to invest is that you need to invest in traveling i know there are so many friends of mine who uh, post a lot of pictures on Instagram saying that wanderlust, hashtag uh, travel is my birthright, etc, etc, etc. And we feel sometimes that why is this person spending so much money on traveling? I mean, he can invest that money on uh, some any, in a, any investment option and get some returns out of it. But it is much more important to travel because travel helps you to refresh your mind. It helps you to uh, meet new people. It helps you to increase your network. And your network is your net worth. So the more kind of people you meet, the more perspectives you'll get, the more different kinds of angles you'll be able to think from. And you'll be ultimately able to utilize all those experience in your day-to-day -day life, in your workplace, in your business, in your career. And this will ultimately help you to become a better version of yourself. And by chance, you might also end up meeting a mentor while you're traveling. You'll be able to utilize their, their experiences in your work professional career as well, which will eventually help you to become much more successful and much more worthy. And the last thing that you have to invest is that you need to invest in yourself. Yes, you, my dear friend, the one who's watching this video, you need to start taking care of yourself now. You need to start doing things which make you happy, which gives you happiness, which gives you peace, which gives you joy. Uh, so many of us are just doing things which makes our family happy, which makes our parents happy, which makes probably our kids happy, our wife happy, happy our husband happy. But you should start doing things which will make you happy. If you think that you will feel happy after you eat certain kind of food, you should do that. If you feel that uh, you will be much more happier if you start working out, you should do that. You should rather do things which will keep you happy and also you should invest in uh, not just your happiness but also on your growth. 
if you want to become a CEO of a company one day, then you, you need to start looking like a CEO. It's always suggested and said that you need to start uh, dressing up as where you want to see yourself. So if you want to become a manager one day, then you need, to, you need to start dressing up as a manager. You need to start wearing good clothes. I'm not saying expensive clothes, but whatever you are wearing, wear it properly. Iron it well and ensure that your shoes are clean, your nails are clean, your hair is uh, well neatly set. And all these aspects are extremely important because it will create a very good reputation about you and also people look at you with a different perspective when you when they see that this person is well groomed he's hygienic he's clean and he's able to maintain himself or carry himself properly whatever you're wearing wear it, wear it with confidence wear your attitude and become a better version of yourself so i hope you found this video informative uh, it was a very hard to heart conversation that i was having with you and if you did Please make sure you leave your feedbacks in the comment section and help us improve better. And also, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an update from IndianMoney.com uh, YouTube channel. And also, if you want to learn more about personal finance, career building, farming and business, you can download the Financial Freedom app. The link of this app is provided in the description box. My name is Fayaz and you're watching IndianMoney.com.